How can I attract new clients? What can I do to attract the right clients? How do I get started? What marketing strategy should I put in place? How do I get fast results? How can I scale? You see, regardless if you just started your business or you've been in business for decades, these are the questions that I get from business owners and entrepreneurs all the time. And I think these are the key problems coaches and consultants face, and it's one of the most overwhelming and overcomplicated topics out there. So in this video, I'll go over four steps you can take to start attracting your ideal clients, build systems in your business, and create offers that are hard to refuse. So before we dive in, if you want to stay up to date with the best advice and techniques to run a successful, purpose-driven coaching and consulting business, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video every week. In my latest videos, you can find actionable advice on how to unlock and monetize your sole purpose, manifest abundance in your business, and create a six-figure purpose-driven business. Make sure to check those out. And for those of you that don't know me, I'm Melissa Hughes, the CEO and founder of the Live Rich Spread Wealth Movement and Company. I've earned my first million by the age of 31, and my business has generated six figures a year ever since. My established systems for success help large corporations like Microsoft, Motorola, and ESPN, as well as smart startups and individuals to accomplish their business goals. My clients achieve tangible results through proven strategies with grace and ease. That's why they call me the guru of implementation. So if you're looking for your practical advice on how to get your business off the ground and attract high paying clients, you are in the right place. Let's dive in. Number one, focus on your ideal clients. It may sound obvious, but a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners focus on attracting clients versus attracting the right clients, and it makes it so much harder. And when I dig deeper, I realize that many people don't know who their ideal clients are, or they don't know their market niche, and they don't understand what they really want and need. You know, in order to be very successful in business and truly make big impacts in your purpose-driven business, you have to be intimately aware of who your ideal clients are. So they, when, they, when you don't, you end up marketing their products, your, your products and services, hoping that the right person will stumble upon them and decide to buy. And it rarely happens. So the truth is, it doesn't matter how well you market. If you market to the wrong niche, you'll never see the results that you're looking for. So the first step is to attract your ideal coaching client and know your ideal clients, like really know them. Not only know, you know, their age, where they are, where they hang out, but also you need to know what are their psychographics? How are they feeling? What are they looking and what are their needs? So this is how you do it. And there's actually endless ways, but what you really need to focus on is two key steps. First, Build assumptions about your ideal clients. Who are they? What they want? What are their pain points? And where do they hang out? At the end of the day, you need to really know who these folks are. And what are the results that they're looking for? And what drove them to want those results in their life or their business in the first place? Second, test your assumptions with research, with customer interviews, social media polls, and emails. Aim for how many responses you can get and focus on asking the right questions so that you can truly gain more insights on when you're, on how, who your ideal clients are and what they actually want. At the end of the process, what you should have is your ideal client avatar completed with information and insights that will be key in defining the success of your marketing efforts. Because at the end of the day, if you do not have marketing, you have no way to attract your ideal client, but you gotta do the work to get the results that they deserve and you deserve. Let me know in the comments below if you already know who your ideal clients are, or if you have questions about the system and methodologies to run your ideal client avatar research. Number two, get your humanity message right and have a compelling offer. I go in depth on the concept of the humanity message in my previous video that you can check out right here. So let's focus on your offer. And the most important thing is that your offer must be congruent with what your customer wants, 
needs and is willing to pay for. That's why step one number one is so important. In order to have a relevant offer, you need to know what your I you need to know your ideal client intimately. Because if you don't, then it's and if it's not what they really want, it's gonna be very difficult for you. And if it's not what they really need, there's gonna be resistance to them buying anything from you in that regard. And you wanna reduce resistance in your sales because you want the sales to be effortless. You want it to be quick and easy. You do not wanna make this a hard process. So they're not gonna be quick and easy if it's something that they really don't want. It's not, if it's something that they really don't want, it's gonna be hard to get a yes on the phone or in person. It's going to be hard to get a yes via email. It's going to be hard to get a response through follow-up. The most important thing is that your offer is congruent. So make sure you're selling people what they really want or need. So here's the five things your offer needs to have. The name of the offer, because you have to know the name of it in order to talk about it. The price of the offer. The next thing you need to be able to sell your offer is a problem and an outcome. What are the results that you're providing them to their problem? What is the problem that this thing stalls? And what is the outcome that it creates? And the more specific you can be with this is the better. In fact, if you can put numbers into it, the better. Because numbers create specificity. This is the solution your ideal clients are looking for. So number four is, and this is the one that's more optional, is the delivery outline. So what are the steps that you're taking in order to solve the problem and create that outcome? How are you providing this bridge? So if you say that the, their problem is point A and the outcome is point B, what's the in-between? What is this offer doing that creates the outcome? Really breaking it down into a step-by-step -step process. And then the last thing you need in order to be able to sell your offer is the package. So what is it actually including? What's the stuff that they actually get? Let me show you an example of congruent offers for my program. So you see here are the four elements. Invincible Mastery. Here's the name of the offer I chose because the name be it represents what the final outcome is and the results my clients will experience in and after the program. You see all the explanations of the problem and the outcome, feeling trapped, not able to move forward, destined to something more but stuck, and longing for super results. That's the end outcome. The package, here's, what they, well, here's what's included. Six weeks, live training with Melissa Hughes, valued at $6,000. Free access to the Live Cash Infusion online training, valued at $5,000. Access to the Live Rich Spread Wealth Daily Affirmations Facebook group, valued at $500, plus a ticket to one of my events. And finally, once you click on the CTA, the call to action, you'll be brought to the checkout page where you'll see the price. All clear? Once you have a concurrent offer like this, it's time to put it in front of your ideal clients. So let's get to that. Number three, get ready to market your offer. Identify your traffic sources. A lot of people think that making money is very, very complicated. And there's a million different steps and a million different ways to do it. I think that it's largely because the marketplace is so crowded and confusing. There's only two steps that you need to make money in your business, in any business, online or offline, and it doesn't matter. There are only two steps to making money, and here they are. The first is to create an offer, which we covered in the previous step. The second is you send traffic to it. You create an offer and you send traffic to it. The source of your traffic will change if you're an established business or if you're just starting out, but the bottom line doesn't. You need to get your compelling offer in front of your ideal customer's eyes. If you're just starting out, there's one thing you need to do. Leverage on all the work you did up front to find out more about your ideal clients. They're going to be your first buyers. Get the offer in front of all the people who answered your survey, who you interviewed, who you, who you answered, who answered via the social media polls. Invite them to a conversation with you, to your landing page or your email list, or just email them your offer. This is how you get started. You also want to activate your network. 
family, friends, peers, colleagues, and acquaintances. You can get their help to promote your offer or they are your ideal clients. If they're your ideal clients, they could be interested in it themselves. If you already have a business, start by inventorying your traffic sources. So what is your current list size? Who are your current clients, previous buyers, Facebook group members, social media followers, previous referral partners, previous leads, people on your wait list for your services, people you can think of who may be a fit for your services. All of these could be sources for your traffic and are ways to show your offer to the right people. Once your traffic sources are clear, you just go ahead with running the promotional campaign for your offer. You don't need to have a CRM, a customer relationship management system, to do this. You don't have to make it complicated, especially if you're just starting out. It can be done manually. The important thing is to reach out, present your compelling offer, and get people to commit and say yes. If you need an example of a campaign that you can run, download my free bundle, 65 Ways to Get People on the Phone, plus your low-hanging fruit campaign. That will help you get started, and the link in the description is below. Number four, systemize your efforts. Now that you know who your ideal clients are, you have a compelling offer, and you know your traffic sources and how you're running this campaign, it's time to systemize your efforts and scale. If you're just starting out, this is where you start building your email list and start working on your first funnel. And this is what you could experience. If you already have an established business, this is where you start looking into evergreen funnels, cash infusion, and different revenue streams. An example, this is what Angela was able to achieve in less than 30 days when she started on creating and systemizing her evergreen funnel. It's all about building systems that work for you. This is what I call the systems are sexy formula. Dreams plus actions, multiplied by systems equals results. I hope this serves you. As always, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about how any of what I talked about in this video today. I hope this served you. As always, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about anything that I talked about today. And don't forget to download my free guide to 65 ways to get people on the phone plus low-hanging fruit campaign. That will help you get started. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to get notified when I post a new video. Also, let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next from me or if you have any questions or doubts. Give a look at these other videos if you want to know more about me and the Live Rich Spread Wealth methodology. Thank you and see you next week.